What's going on, guys? And welcome to another episode of Pub Suds and Grubs presents the Speakeasy. And look who is back! Yeah, I got swindled. I'm back. Yeah, we knew you would, man. <laughs> it's addicting, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, I wanted to come back and see what you guys. You know, listen, last last week's beers were good. I was I was impressed. So I'm back for another round. Is it is it the beers or is it our charm? Not your charm. No, it's definitely Maybe the charm. Maybe a little bit of both. Yeah. Maybe no. a little bit of both. And speaking of beers, John, what do we have? We are doing something different today. All right. We have we got? sours. Sours. Okay. Sours. Sours are becoming more and more popular. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the biggest of fans, but I'm not opposed as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we are starting with probably one of the most famous... I would say famous breweries that make sours in the Hudson Valley. They're very famous, but they're very famous for sour IPAs sour specifically. IPAs, yes. Yeah, sour IPAs, yes. So there's a couple different sours. you got your fruited sours, you got your sour IPAs. Yeah. This is a sour IPA. This is from Hudson Valley Brewery in upstate New York, Ooh. and this is called The Map. What, what, a, what a just unique name, The Map. <laughs> yeah. The Map. And you know what? A lot of sours come in at like 4 or 5 Five and a half percent. This is a seven percent because it's a sour okay. IPA. I love it. And I yeah. have a warning for you. What? There's lactose in here. Let's go, baby. All right. But that's okay today because we're right. just sampling. It's a sample. Okay. Same. We're not drinking a gallon. Let's see what this is about. about. I mean, you were talking last episode about this lactose stuff, so now I get to get a little flavor yeah. about it. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's so make it a bad beer at all. Not at let's all. Let's do. Cheers. Salud. Cheers, man. Salud. Yeah, all right, Johnny. And oh, cheers to Joey. He's back in the Yay! audience. Joey Gabagool. Hey, Gabagool. Joey Gabagool. Hey, Gabagool. Joey Gabagool. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And this was from Dom, by the way, as well. Shout out Dom. Yeah, we were Dom. Yeah, Dom's always looking. He's like our our our. He's our dealer. He's he's like, Dom's your dealer, bro. Like it's he's a our special camp dealer. Yeah. Yeah. He's your dealer. He's, he's your like, dealer. I got some good for you today, guys. Yeah. 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 What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> so uh, opinion, you start. Okay. Um, as far as when you think IPA, a lot of times you think more like hoppy, you think a little bit more. I'm not getting much of that. I'm getting just pure sour on no. this one, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, you feel it back here in the Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's bad. No. Nope. But my whole thing is is I want to be drinking what I it says I'm drinking. I mean, it definitely says sour IPA on there, right? It does. Okay. Um it doesn't tell you what's in it though. Yeah. Um, so, but it, it's good. It's very good. But like I said, if I if I'm thinking IPA, I want a little bit more of that hoppiness. I think. On yeah. That. yeah. There's yeah. like none. Yeah. 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 It feels I like there's none on that. Yeah. But uh, well, yeah. My opinion on it is, it's just like sharper, right? Like from last week when I was here with you guys, like, like what cheddar. we had, it just feels like it has a sharper flavor. Definitely no hop. Yeah. Like I don't get that that hoppy yeah. aftertaste at all, which is yeah, kind of what I don't like. You were sour on that, yeah. yeah. Like it's really yeah. like that's where it is, and I, I can mess with sour stuff. I'm not I'm yeah. not mad about it. So yeah, this good. is something where if we're sharing it, I'm good with. Yeah, I'm not opening that can and drinking the can by myself. Yes, I, I think yeah. it take a it's perfect time. for something like this. Right. We have three guys. We're splitting it up. And that would take me a long time. And considering we're having another sour in a little while, um, <laughs> yeah, it's our sour episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we don't want sour stomachs necessarily. No. So yeah, yeah. But I think it's good. I think it's a, overall a good beer. I think um, it just the name. Uh, just it, I like that the colors still IPA. look yeah. like an IPA. Like you can like yeah. swindle somebody into drinking yeah. this in there. You know. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand how they came up with the name of the map though. Mm. Well, the can sure art, yeah, yeah, is a map, and yeah. it looks like it it's is a, a pretty whack map. Of a, of a, uh, I don't know, like a that's island. like some Super Mario. I think I see the Loch Ness monster in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> I don't know where. Where do you think some of these breweries come up with their names from? Uh, I think they just run out of names sometimes. And they're like, oh, they let's just call this one. James. Honestly, you come up with a new brew, drink <laughs> the hell out of it, and then you write down all the drunk ass shit you come up with. Right, right. Yeah. And that's probably what it is. Right. Yeah. Because I always had a vision of opening my own brewery, and being that I'm a poker player, I would love to make it like, you know, Johnny like Aces? Aces. Johnny Aces Brewery? No, like, uh, just Johnny Aces like Brewery. Four Aces IPA, yeah. you know, like Royal, like, Royal Flush Sour. And you put a toilet on the front of it. What a king sit. What a king sit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I always oh, wonder about But you know what, though? That would probably be like what would help sell. I think I'm onto something. I think you're onto something here. So, yeah. you know. Any financiers? Any finance? Uh, we have any investors. Any, any investors? investors? Listen, I do sort? sales and marketing, bro. I got you. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. That would yeah. be good. Yeah. yeah. I work my ass off. I'm not going to put any money in, but I work my ass off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Johnny Ace's Royal Flush. <laughs> the Royal Flush. <laughs> With the king on it. Picture of me. Yeah. Sitting on a toilet with a crown on it. Yes. <laughs> you got to be making a face, though, bro. got to be making a face. Yes. Yeah. And then we'll 
put a, one that's this uh, straight. And then on the bottom of the coat, you can say, this shit tastes why, good. Wait, <laughs> why is it going to say straight? Oh. Like straight IPA? Oh, yeah, straight maybe, up yeah, we can work on that. Yeah, okay. yeah. we can work on that. Hey, d- hey, guys, first, I didn't even ask you because, you know, Easter, how was it? What did you guys do? You didn't do anything fun? Easter was good, man. Yeah. yeah. Easter's with the family, some of the yeah. brothers, too. Yeah. Cool, man. A little bit of everything. Cool. All right. Good eats? Yeah, plenty of good yeah, eats. Did you make some pizza game, whatever that stuff is, that fancy uh, Italian stuff or what? Uh, my brother's making it this year. Oh yeah, yeah. My brother uh, made my my brother make it. My brother made the pizza game this year. Oh yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. Okay. So our our uh, we used to have a big Easter. We used to go to our aunt and uncles yeah. every year. There was probably like fifty people there. Yeah. And uh, they're they're older now, so they stopped doing it. So we just go to my parents' house and we, right. we do a smaller version. Nice, know, nice, the nice. The ham, you know. The yeah. Dude, sometimes it's nice when it's smaller though. Yeah, yeah. That that you know the Honestly, smaller. Honestly, it was up family. to me. I probably wouldn't even celebrate it. It would just be another yeah. day for me. I don't know. I see I my like parents. It. I see the family excuse. all the time, anyway. So. Yeah, well, it's still a good excuse to celebrate, and eat some food. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing on Easter is a good stuffed artichoke. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like now we're talking special, about. right? Good yeah. stuffed artichoke. Yeah. Stuffed yeah. artichoke. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to try. I, it. Made, I made it a couple years ago. My brother made it a year after, and uh, yeah. One day, we're me and him are gonna have a cook off. So. All right. Probably, that might be an stuff. episode right there. Yeah. I don't want to embarrass you. The cook off. <laughs> yeah, Joe Sutton presents, 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 presents the cook off. Embarrass John. presents the cook off. Yeah, yeah. As you guys know, yeah. the brothers. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. But he'll win because I'll be drinking the sour IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Pour it in the drink. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to measure the salt. <laughs> so, any other uh, Easter t- traditions? You, you know that yeah. you guys did uh, anything? I mean, uh, we have kids. You don't. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little different with us. No, so people. like for me, like my family, uh, other people got kids, you know, okay. so I'll go out there and like, I don't feel like I got to put yeah. out kids into this yeah. world. They did enough work for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it is nice to get together with the family, you yeah. know, whether you're there for, you know, a religious purpose, you're there for family. I think it's good yeah. to, to be there and spend time with family because you know what, in this day and age, right, I think we were talking about earlier, like how caught up you are with so many things. Yeah. Right. You don't get to spend the yeah. time that you want with family yeah. where yeah, like, absolutely. I remember like in our youth, like. I'd have to go, like, if I want to go to Kenny's house for dinner, like, my mom would have to call his mom. Right. Yeah. You know, I had to get permission to have dinner with his yeah. family. Like, it was so important to have that family time. Yeah. And I've seen that go away. Yeah. Right? So, I think it's like, you know, I think holidays, let's at least hold on to that. Yeah. yeah. Let's try to spend time with the family on the holidays. That's great. That's good. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I think I'll do an Easter hunt. Egg hunt. I mean, I, uh, every year I do an Easter egg hunt with my kid, and it's yeah. great, man. Me too. We, you know, my kids are older now, but they yeah. still enjoy it. You know, I throw some <laughs> coins or some dollar bills, and maybe I'll throw like a twenty dollar bill in one egg. To Listen, make, next yeah. year, next year, you guys should hold the Pub Suds and Guns presents the Easter hunt. And we should put like little Easter eggs, like little whiskey shots. In them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I like it. <laughs> We get a bunch of us out there or fighting. Get the airplane bottles, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like all of us fighting for him. I think that would be a great. I think he's on to something. I think so. I think so. I think that'd be a fun one, so. man. Yeah. And me and you will sit here like this. Yeah. You guys could be the commentary, just yeah. the flavor of all. But, but still, like, but still, I want I want chocolate in some of mine. Too. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> hey, like you know, you, you get out there, you open up egg, you're like, oh, I got chocolate. Another guy's yeah. like, oh, I got a shot. Like, so it's me, great. Let me my ask favorite you. part of Easter is stealing my kids' chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like Halloween, right? Yeah. Just going to that bag. I don't care if there's some switch plates in there. So. <laughs> Bro, switchblades, man. Like, yeah, it was like, razor blades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut you. Uh, I so, always got a blade on me. So we ask you guys. I mean, as far as Easter Bunny and thing like that goes, like, were you like all for it? Was that your thing? Or yeah, you no, know? I love a six foot bunny shitting all over. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Yeah, yeah. Was it? No nightmares there. No, <laughs> no nightmares. Yeah. yeah. Are you afraid? Are you are, seriously? Are you afraid of Easter Bunny? No, as a kid. Hell oh yeah. yeah, really? Wow. Because yeah, I mean, you go take a picture with the Easter Bunny when you're a kid. I mean, that's a, yeah. a big. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, even my kid cries. Not a yeah. little yeah. tiny little yeah. Easter Bunny, right? It's a big, big yeah. bunny. It's not normal. Shit and chocolate. Big ass teeth, place. teeth and yeah. 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 And the eyes, bro. It was always the eyes that really messed with me. Like the big <laughs> eyes just staring at you. Yeah. Like, I was about that life. What is an Easter bunny? What does a bunny have to do with Easter? And First of all, and chicks. Chicks and bunnies. Bunnies and from? eggs? Yeah, bunnies don't yeah, lay eggs. They don't lay eggs, eggs yeah. bro. Neither do chicks. No, yeah. They're little babies. Yeah. I don't get it. So, you, so do you have like a lot of phobias and stuff? Do you have like, is that something like it? Oh, I got a ton. Oh, oh yeah. Is that like something like, so Easter yeah. bunnies are one of them, huh? <laughs> As a kid, yeah. Yeah. As a kid, yeah. Yeah. What else, man? What yeah, else? What else, what else, what else yeah, I'm, I'm curious. What's going on here? I got a lot, man. Yeah. I'm scared of death. I'm scared of spiders. I'm scared of yeah, spiders. On my yeah, my, my, my wife is deathly like a scared scared of spiders. Yeah. Like I can't even like she can't even look at a picture. Like if she's scrolling through Facebook and there's a spider, she freaks out. You really? Know, like, yeah. If I see a spider oh, wow. in the house, I call my wife. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm the same way. I don't like <laughs> him either. You know. So it's
talked about this. Yeah, we did crazy. talk about this. So uh, here's the thing. There's a difference. I, I find there's a difference between a, a, being scared of heights and uh, scared of, and having a fear of falling. Okay. I have a fear of falling. I'm not necessarily afraid of heights. I could be on top of the Empire State Building looking down, but because it's secure, I, I'm okay. Um, I don't like things. When I climb ladders, I climb all the time because I'm, I'm a handy guy, so I'm always a climber. I don't like that they're like you know. Yeah, they're rickety, yeah. like shaking, right? Yeah. So I do stuff. I don't like doing it. I try, you know, not to think about it if I'm climbing something that's twenty. Like so, our buddy Jay, who was a guest here, he just recently installed my drapes uh, in my house because yeah. um, it's in the, um, our study, which is it's they're like thirty foot. Boy, high I got ceilings. them fancy, do fancy you, ceilings, yeah, real high. Yeah, so. The drapes, or? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are gray and dark black yes he's like i don't have carpets <laughs> i thought it was wood floors it's, it's hard it's wood. hard wood floors excuse me straight hardwood yeah. uh, all right <laughs> anyway you can tell we had a few beers before yeah. um but anyways yeah so for me it's a fear of falling i think that's really what does it for me and uh see i'm the opposite and i see joey well, shaking I, his head over there yeah. i think he, he agrees yeah. when i went to the tool concert a couple weeks ago i told john i had a panic attack because i was so high up uh, yeah like, I was afraid I was going to fall forward. So if you guys can't hear, Joey went to a Tool concert, and he said that he was really high up, and, and it was, was – Fear of Falling? Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, Fear of I, Falling. My legs so. are shaking. I don't like escalators yeah. either. That's cool. See, to me, I don't know, the yeah. heights and the falling, that goes hand on hand. Like like you said, going to the top of the Empire State Building, I'm like, I'm inching towards the top, I'll look over, and then I'm right back. Yeah. Really? You can't yeah. look? Oh, no. See, I, can, I, I have the fear. I, I don't get comfortable with it. Like, But I can at least look. Like you said, if you're in a building, you know like you're in a, a kind of place like that. They have the fences up sometimes, whatever. Um, spiders, 100%. But I, I got no problem killing them. Like, I'm out here, like, taking them out. Like, I got a, I got a, like, a war hammer with, like, checks oh, on them for once I kill <laughs> yeah. Like, I just don't want them in my house. You need them with the no, seal but, bat. But you know what's different, though, is, like, when I go outside, if I see a spider outside, I'm like, dude, I'm in your world. Like, this is your place. Like, this is your home. But when you come in my house, yeah, it's all like, it's, yeah. game yo, over. gloves are coming off, bro. You're done. I'm, I'm taking you out. Some people are like, don't kill it. Put it in a cup. Set it free. No. 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 You're going to die tonight. They yeah. actually do <laughs> yeah. do a lot. Do, do. They actually they do do a lot of they um, do, do all good for us as far as killing the mosquitoes and all the water. No, like, listen, I live in an apartment, stuff. and, like, outside my apartment, like, there's a little corner where I see the, I leave him. Yeah. Like, like you no said, he's... Yeah. walking tiny ass spider No, he's doing... House. No, no, but he's doing what he's got to do. Yeah. But the moment true. you come in my he's house... How many times, and like, if anyone's listening, you know what I'm talking about. You're sitting and you're watching a movie or something, and then all of a sudden, oh, it comes down right, right in front of your face. Well, you're like, uh, no, yeah. like right then and there, I'm just uh, let yeah. them know, yeah. done. Hey, yeah, and I it's scream like a woman first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> driving. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. Now you know what's another phobia I had when I was younger, right. and you can attest to this. Okay. Right. I, I remember the first time it really hit me. It was I had like severe anxiety disorder. So it was the fear of being like in public, right? All right. And we had – I remember we were collecting like cans or something to go to a uh, great adventure. All right. And I remember the day of – I think I was like nine years old when this happened, right? And we were supposed to go. And I called you. I was like, dude, I was like, I feel sick. I can't go. You're like, come on, bro. We've been yeah. waiting all summer. And that was like the first time I realized. I was like, wow. Like in the moment we hung up the phone, I felt instantly good. Yeah. So I was like, damn, I got this social anxiety. And it took me years to overcome it. And that's it one of the phobias I came over. It's really hard to believe because you're such a social person. Yeah. Yeah, but years ago I wasn't. Yeah. Like, you know. In fact, I think Ruben is the reason why I'm as social as I am. This no. Stop. Right? Right? Yes. Yes. You think so? Your outgoingness has always rubbed off on me. Yeah. And um, I think. Now, you were a bit of an introvert at times. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, yes. I'm, I'm what they call an ambivert, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because you switch. You I'm got your mind. I'm very, very laid back in the corner kind I'm of guy. I'm Yes. Right. Well, you go left or right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. he, he uses both ski poles. Yeah, right? yeah. But, uh... <laughs> this is bad for me in the middle to be doing this. <laughs> one's this way, one's this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no, that's crazy, but I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I didn't think I had that kind of effect on it. Yeah. Uh, I have a phobia for flying. Yes, bro. We got to get over this. Yeah. We got to get over this. Because, listen, you yeah. can't get to all these great breweries. I, if, I mean, unless you guys rent the party like bus. Like I mentioned before. And drive. Yeah. I haven't been to Las Vegas because of my phobia. My yeah, Johnny Ace is the easiest. You know, I didn't Vegas. realize how big vaginas you guys are. But, you know. <laughs> bro, so relax. I said I got over it, and I don't got a fear of fun. <laughs> yeah. But 100%, like, listen, I, I know you've traveled out of the country <laughs> and seen a lot of the world. You know, you, you did that road trip across yeah, the US, yeah, which was yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Years ago, yeah. But, like. Find a way. You, you gotta really identify the fear. What it is? Yeah. Death. You're thinking about death, right? You think you're gonna get up in this plane, whatever. Yeah. Look at the and statistics. Being in that little ass yeah. seat, like not being yeah. able to be John, in control. John, you got a greater statistic of dying in your car than you do in an airplane. I do, but I'm in control in the car. You feel like you are. Well, I'm driving. But when you I die, hit the brake. Listen, though. when you get hit yeah. and die in the car, you didn't have control of that yeah. shit. Yeah, but someone else took you out. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you just look at it where it's like, I have a chance because I can... Thank what, you. What, what, <laughs> so they always say, like, if it's your time, if it's your time, right? Yeah. I'm a firm believer that. I'm a firm yeah. believer that. What if it's the pilot's time and it's not your time? <laughs> no, it was your time because it was tied with no, his. It was his time. No, you can't be all together. It was of his it time. Is. Of course it is. That's You're why a you, casualty at his time. That's why you got on that plane? That's well, why you as long that as the plane departs on time, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think yeah. my thing to get over that is to get my kids on a plane. Yeah. They have yet to go on a plane. Like sure. we drive to Florida and stuff. Yeah. Once they're on a plane, I got to put on that that uh, brave, that brave, brave face. Yeah, man. I think Dude, you used to do that family way. trip, right? Your old man would drive so you guys I out of Florida. I've been flying since I was a, a wee man, you know? So yeah. I, I've been doing it for years. Me too. Me too. Yeah, so. He got heavy. We did. Yeah. We did. Oh. Oh, no, he did. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw the last one, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, I was like, wait, what's he talking about? about? <laughs> I'm like, I did get heavy, but thanks for pointing that out, man. <laughs> Jeez. But what about everyone? <laughs> so just falling, that's it for you? If you're falling, um, I, I I don't know, you know. I, I've had plenty of fears, public speaking, things like that, yeah. but you just kind of got to just keep working at it, keep doing it. How about the public restroom? No, I never had a problem. Now you're good with that. Like, I'm, if I'm in a urinal, somebody comes right next to me. I don't like now that. I'm like, oh, it's even weirder if there's. Why? Like, can't go. Are, are you over it's there even weirder if there's thirty you urinals on the left and right. Now you get nervous because people can find out. Because I'm like, he's gonna look over here, and he's yeah, gonna be happens. like, you're in the wrong room. The ladies' room is next door. So yeah, it happens to me all the time. There's thirty urinals on the left, thirty urinals on the right, and the guy just stands right next Dude, to me. Dude, is that not true though? And then he and looks over. That's what happened. What's up? Etiquette. Hey, what's up? And I'm like, thankfully not that. Yeah. How's it hanging? <laughs> Bro, there's like, yeah, there's like 10 urinals. You're like at the one left, and the guy's yeah. got to come right next to you. Yeah. What happens, yeah. It's like yeah. parking, right? Yeah. You got a nice car, you park far away, and some douche has to park yeah. right next to you. Yeah. So, you know, you, you were mentioning public speaking, right? Yeah. So, again, the, the anxiety, like, for us to do karaoke was like super hard. It was in the beginning. Right? Yes, you know, but, but we had we had a little bit of liquid courage. I'm out of my liquid courage. Yeah, wow. But we had, we had liquid nice. courage. Wow. Right? And, and that would help. To definitely do it, but eventually, like you don't need it anymore. I got used to it. That's one of the things I got with Freemasonry, is I became master of my lodge, and so I'm the guy uh, that's sitting in the high seat. I got to do all the meetings. I got to talk, and like sometimes you might have a hundred to two hundred people in a room yeah. staring at you, yeah. and you got to navigate that, and you got to talk that, and even try to be charming and funny at times, whatever. Yeah. That year that I did that was probably one of the most exponential growths of year that I had in public speaking. Yeah. And now for me, it's like mad comfortable. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it's it. It's like a, just another day. Yeah, like it's yeah. just just what I got to do. It, but it in is. the beginning, bro, my heart fluttering, bro. Well, like the, bottom, the bottom line is this, and I hate to sound depressing, and I hate to put it, you know, You're so fucking line, depressing. The, 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 the bottom line <laughs> is this: <laughs> do what you do, enjoy doing it. Fifty, hundred, two hundred years from now, no one is gonna know. Yeah, you ain't gonna be sure. No, no one's gonna know who you were. No one's gonna know. This is one of the reasons, actually, why I wanted to do this podcast. I wanted to live in somehow. Live on somehow, some way when I'm dead, I think, you know. Yeah. And this our is kids can go back, our grandkids can watch our podcast yes. and watch us bumbling idiots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they could be more embarrassed. Your great grandpa was a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these <laughs> lushes. Yeah. <laughs> They're being flying cars. He was yeah. afraid of getting on a plane. He was driving his car in the air. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's a thing. It's like, you know, just life is too short, enjoy yourself, yeah. do what you gotta do, you know. You know as a kid I was afraid of public speaking, like oral reports in school. Oh god, oh, that was that was man. awful. Dude, I'd call awful. sick that day. I used to Drink in between. So what? what? I used to. <laughs> Yo, degenerate. What? <laughs> in college, there was a hotel with a bar, and I would go there. I, I must have been with a college in a hotel. <laughs> there was a hotel near the college. <laughs> Your face, bro. So confused. All right, go, maybe uh, maybe I went to Fairleigh Dickinson. There was a hotel called Vander, uh, Vanderbilt. Was the bar inside the hotel, and I would go there, have lunch, have beers before going back to class sometimes, and. I would actually, it, a lot of times it would be a class that I have to do a speech in or some, something with public speaking or anything. So uh, I would actually drink before I did. And it loosen you up? Yes. Yeah, no. Oh, man, heck that, yeah. Dude, that works, man. That's oh, real yeah. talk. Little liquid courage goes a long yeah. way. I mean, I was talking high school. So yeah. Oh, no, well, college is really yeah. where I did most of my public speaking, uh, things yeah. like that. Yeah, I did a lot of public sleeping in high school. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of public speaking. <laughs> I mean, in college. I'm sorry. Uh, but, or uh, both. Yeah. <laughs> but I... Now can I can run the floor? You know what I mean. I can talk in front of everybody. Mm. I can run the show. I'm okay with that. But when we talk about like karaoke, uh, I, unless you're next to me or you're next to me singing a song, I can't do it by myself. You never done it by yourself? Never. Wow. I've always had you next to me. Really? See, look, look, bro, that's who you are. You're the guy that helps people find their way to the fucking well, mic. Because if look, I, look, you got him on the mic now too. If yeah. I sound like, see, I'll run this. I'll do this by myself. Yeah. But being in front of people singing, because I'm like, if I suck, uh, all right. I I'll, mas- oh, I'll be like, well, Kenny sucked today, and he made me suck. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'll ma- you can mask me if I suck. 
Yo, real and talk. I actually think I'm a good. I think I'm a good singer. You see, you My probably are though. I'm a good you probably are. Yeah, well, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, here's what happens, right? And I, I, I've told a lot of people. I've tried for years <laughs> to get people in front of a mic. <laughs> yeah. Right? Is this? You'll sing like you know by yourself when you're comfortable. You're not worried about being judged. Yeah. Right? You're singing natural. The moment you get in front of a mic in front of a crowd. You start tensing up. You start closing up your diaphragm. Yeah. Don't work, and then right. you're like, eh. yeah. you don't. You right. just don't hit the notes that you can. Right. But you can probably sing. Oh, I can absolutely. Yeah. Sing. So drink a little bit more next time and just yeah. get up yeah. there and do it. Funny or funny story. Once I went to a concert. I went to see <coughs> Nickelback. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh, oh, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a bleep button for this? <laughs> yeah, edit that, please. Yeah. And I was singing a Nickelback song. I was singing with bleep. them, and the lady in front of me turned around and she's just staring at me. And I'm like, oh, she, yeah, that must have sounded like shit. Was she sitting there just she like? Goes, like was she, she goes, you sound just like them. I'd rather watch you. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. <laughs> what Bro, is it for my stepbrothers? It's like uh, <laughs> when he sings that song or whatever. And uh, Oh, you're the, yo, you're the songbird of generation. Like you're like between like uh, baby Jesus. Like, it's Jesus. Or something. It's something funny, yeah, it's so crazy. <laughs> you know what I think I'm good at? I'm good at... Uh, like if I'm singing Stained, I'm yeah. good at masking my voice to sound like him. If I'm singing Breaking Benjamin, I'm good at ma- if I'm singing Dave Matthews, I'm good at masking my voice. Well, to sound you like know, him. your voice sounds a lot different than when you hear it. Though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, to me, yeah. can we just say, just agree <laughs> to me, to me? No, John, I'm gonna say if you feel like if you can say it out loud to yourself that hey, like I think I, I can sing. Yes. I just can't sing in front of other people. You can probably sing. Yeah. It's just I mean, that you have the fear that's knocking you, that's tensing you up, messing you up, and then you're not, not you're not singing natural. I really know fact. I am the lead singer of a band called Force. Oh yeah. Oh. Who? <laughs> Foreskin. Foreskin. Okay. Yeah, right. So on that note. <laughs> yeah. So let's, no, let's switch when, up, bro. When we turned 21, me, his brother, a couple other guys, we wanted to do a cover band. Yeah. And uh, we lasted yeah, a day. You yeah. guys had a cover band? Yeah. I, I didn't know we about asked this. You, Not we me. asked you to join us because we needed a bass player. Yeah. We did ask you. Yeah. Listen, you probably said the name and I was like, no. <laughs> So me well, and there were four. So <laughs> believe it or not, it was four skin. It me, was me, and Ruben actually, we had our band back in the day. He was bassist, I was guitarist, yeah. vocals. Yeah, and, I was the boy. Back in the, back in the high school years, you were called Abbott and Costello. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we, we? I don't remember what name we had. But yeah, I remember well, we used to play along. Yeah, we didn't earn that name yet. We were yeah, uh, but we we used to you know we played our guitars and stuff like that back in the day. And, yeah, you know, sure, that's all you played. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's, let's switch up into the next round yeah. here. Because my yeah, glass is empty. Yeah. Ken's Mine's always slacking, I can see now. Oh, so, yeah, all right. You know. Get in there. I have another sour. This one is a fruited sour. It's not an IPA sour. So, okay. let's let's see the difference between the two. All right. This one's called Fruit Snacks from Tin Barn Brewing. Yeah. Uh, they actually use Welch's Fruit Snacks when they're brewing this. Oh, what? Ooh. So, there's like a little grape in there. There's a little orange in there. A little, little grape cherry. drink, orange drink. So, <laughs> all right, let's give it a whirl, man. I, I, this is my wife's favorite beer. Is it really? Beer. Okay, all right. Ooh, you made a mess. Shout out to your wife, man. It's foaming. This yeah. is a uh, five point four. Okay, so it's not gonna be yeah, nice. Like, the colors Ooh, got color. Definitely man. different. Yeah. Ooh. Take yeah. one pass it down. Yeah, it looks like a, a Welsh's. Uh, yeah. Welsh. Yeah, it looks like Welsh. a fruit drink, Welsh. right? Welsh. 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 Okay. It's from Wales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Welsh was my sixth grade teacher. Mrs. Walsh. Uh. <laughs> So, Miss Walsh, if you're watching us, um, yeah, no, you know, we're just still alive. Oh, sorry, Miss Walsh. Yeah, Rest in peace. I'm excited. <laughs> I like the color on that. She might be. Actually, she probably was. <laughs> well, Tim Barnes has been producing some awesome stuff. Yeah, um, we do a lot of. We, we do a lot of. Yeah. We've done a few Tim We Barnes went to New York this episode. We went back to New York this we episode. Did. We, we went went back back to Sours, at least. We did something a yeah. little bit. Yeah, we got Hudson Valley and we got our uh, Tim Yeah, because the last, last one was uh, Vermont, right? It was Vermont and yeah. PA. Yeah. Vermont, PA. Okay. Yeah. So, Tin Barn is. Uh, we've talked about Tin Barn a lot, and their yeah. IPAs are phenomenal. And now they're dabbling in these uh, sours, and their sours are really good. People yeah. like them, man. Yeah. So, let's give it a And they're doing their seltzers, too. <laughs> you know, the awkward silence. I, need, right. I, I need to plug in a cricket in there. So. <laughs> yeah, you can edit that later. later. Oh, it smells fruity, bro. You can definitely. Yeah, you can smell yeah. that Welsh is like pretty nice in there. Oh, it smells like Elton John. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit more carbonated too. All right, Ruben, you go first this time. Okay. I'm gonna go. All right, so definitely not as like. Remember, I was talking about that sharpness from the other sour. It's not here. Uh, a little bit more of the hop flavor at the end. Well, 100, percent you can taste the fl- like the fruit flavor coming through. Yeah. But it is again like that Welsh just like snack. Like you were saying it. I'm like, wow, it doesn't feel like 
fruit fruit, like like you know, kind of like a the, the a candy snack or something. Yeah. But also the carbonation. There's definitely a little bit more carbonation yeah. to this body than uh, the but other ones. It's candy, bro. It's yeah. candy. I can taste that candy. Yeah, you can, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, you really can. Yeah. And the I, color, the color says it too. I yeah. dig this more than I dig the other one. Yeah, one hundred percent. But. It's the same thing. There's no way I'm drinking a full can of this, man. Yeah. If I drink a full can, my diabetes is going up. Um, uh, I'm diabetes? The diabetes. Di- diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. That was a guy I'm from feeling cocoon, this man. one more than the other one, and I, I like it tasting this much. is good, but I'm done with it after this. Yeah. You got the diabetes and the insulin? Yeah, man. <laughs> I drink these all the time. You're going to be chopping my toes off, so yeah. I'm not... Uh, it's, it's, it's unique. Um, I'll give it that. But it is good, though. It's it is good. good. Shout unique. out to Morn. It's good. It's good. It's I like born. it. Tim out, out of Tim the born. two, I would I would say they're both good, but I prefer this one. I prefer this. One. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely try too much. Yeah. 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 It's good though. I like it. Thanks, John, for getting this one. By the way, it's really good. Oh, John, you, this wasn't a dumb. No, this was. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Johnny Aces came through I, on this one. I, okay. I, I frequent Tin Barn a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's my favorite place to go. Yeah. Like, the where, people, the spot. The all right. Beers. So I don't know where where is Tim Barnes located. This is in uh, Chester, Chester or Sugarloaf, or Sugarloaf, or Sugarloaf yeah. New York, right next to Warwick. Um, I was gonna say it's like Chester, like here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about an hour drive from me. Okay. And it's totally worth the hour drive. Yeah. No, this cool is good, spot, man. Right? I, I'm, I'm check down. it out, dude. We're if you're up there, there's, a, there's a couple places uh, breweries that you can check out. Yeah. Right if here. if we did uh, an episode at a brewery, this would be one of the first places on my list to go. Yeah. Just because the people. All right. So I'm gonna invite myself for that one. Let me know if you go. I would 100 percent love to go up there. Yeah, 100%. that's yeah. cool, man. You can get us yeah. the beers. You can go to the counter, get us the beers. You can get us the pizza. Yeah, I will be the beer yeah. wench. I'm yeah. cool. I'm good with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you the camera for it. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is one of my top spots. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got I to gotta get but, back there one of these days. Yeah. Upstate yeah. New York, man, and I've yeah. said this before, is booming yeah. in the craft beer industry. Yeah. yeah. There is so much. And there's a popular... Uh, Why is that? Why do you think that is? I think there's just a land. It's just the land is cheap. You can get out there, right? Well, the cool thing is, and it's just, um, when it comes to breweries and it comes to anything, when it comes to like businesses, think about it like this. You have a um, used car lot. You ever notice with used car lots or furniture stores, for instance, there's always like 12 in a row that like, you go somewhere. Yeah, it's like a big stack. Yeah, it's of like them. a big thing. You see like used yeah. car dealerships. You see like 12 in a row. There's like, oh, you got one, one, one. Like a little take a move 46. Or just dealerships in general. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you see, like I said, you see uh, furniture stores, things like that. So think about it like this. So a lot of times, like you look at a bar, you look at a restaurant, you look at a brewery, and people are like, oh, the, you know, the brewery owner might be like, oh, shoot, there's another brewery coming by. Like there's Drownlands, there's some 96, everything. And they're like, oh, my God. There's going to be competition. But no, it's actually a good thing because it brings people there. Because they know that that's the area to go That's the area to go to. People will hop around. They will Uh, check out everywhere. They'll buy cans here, buy cans there. Just Especially if you were traveling a little bit of a distance. They want to have something later. Make a day out of it. You know what's a perfect example of that is like when you go out on 22. And 22 has like a bunch of car places. Yeah. Right? But then like you said, then there is the furniture. Then there's like food. There'll be like a ton of food places, whatever. So there is a method to that madness. Yes, yes, there there is. is. It's not not necessarily competition. They're actually doing Uh, each other favors. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure they're all in, not cahoots, but I'm sure they're all friendly with each other because there's no... In the beer world, there's not competition. If everybody's eating, It's a friendly... Everybody is brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh Yeah. No, and, and as an independent, like you like you were talking about on the last podcast, right? I think you were talking about Goose, uh, yeah, Goose yeah, or whatever, yeah. and they got purchased and whatever. Like that's the thing. Like those big guys are just killing everybody. So you need the small guys to support yeah. each other, right? Yeah. Like you want to see your neighbor succeed, you know, and at the same time they want to see you succeed. Yeah. Right. And that 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 community well, the, will help to, you know you guys grow. And the great thing is, is, is these breweries are actually doing collaborations. You see, District oh, ninety six and Ten Barn, they're like you know. Yeah, I see you guys did a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good for them, you know. And, it's good to not have that. And like Tin Barn, around, like you can't find them in a liquor store, and I like that because I have to go there to buy it. Yeah. yeah so it makes once, it an experience to go. Yeah. Once they start going to liquor stores, I'm like, eh, that, yeah. not that it takes away from the beer, but you're gonna still buy it. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely you like driving that rivalry. It's good to you know. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's uh, it's good that they're they're doing that. Well, it's good for us because we can hop around. So here's just not to get off topic. I'm gonna get a little bit off topic right now on this, just because it's something I really wanted to talk about, and I feel like it's something that me and Ruben have had conversations with in the past. Um, Not John as much, but I want to hear your input on this as well. Uh, 
dreams. You know, this is something that we were just talking about before this podcast. He's got a dream to open up Johnny Ace's uh, yeah, you know, brewery. <laughs> what is your? I'm going to start with Ruben because yeah. Ruben's got, got some passion. About I him. have a dream. I have a dream. Yeah. What do you take from you know when you have dreams? How do you dissect a dream? Are you a believer in these people that say these dream books that say if you dream certain something certain thing yes. that you will you know mean something? Yeah. And so what's your take on that? So with dreams, like uh, I'm, I'm an avid person that's about dreams. I think dreams are a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, one of the things that you have to understand is that you're constantly dreaming 24 seven, right? Right now, your brain is in a process of dreaming. You're just not conscious because your conscious brain is working. It's controlling everything. Okay. But you know, you can have a daydream, right? You ever see, you know zone out and all of a sudden you're just in some place because you're you're letting go of that conscious brain and the dream starts coming through, right? If you get to a certain place in sleep. You're going to hit that REM sleep, whatever. You're going to start seeing dreams come through. Okay. Right? A lot of times when I dream, I kind of feel like I dream more like towards the morning or before I wake up Yeah. versus, you know, in the middle of the night. I don't yeah. – you know, you might have that nightmare that wakes you up in the middle of the night or whatever, but it tends to be like – Do you have to have a deep sleep to have a dream? Or I think so. I yeah. think so. I think yeah. there needs to be a certain level of comfort and relax. But have you ever had the dream? You wake up and you're like, oh, shit, it's daytime. Mm -hmm. And then you go right back into it. You close your eyes mm -hmm. and go right back to sleep, right? So you're, you're constantly dreaming, but I think... Continuation dreams. So one of the things, yeah. like, you were asking, your question is, like, do you believe in the dream books? Yes. Right? So I'm 100% a believer of this, because if you get a dream book and you start breaking down the dreams... I just had one this morning that I can remember, I can tell oh, you. Yeah. Right? So in the dream, it's funny as hell, I, I was wearing this gray shirt, and my gut was so big that it tore the shirt. <laughs> right? That's it. And I'm, I'm walking around with a shirt that's, like, torn. And I went to look up the dream and stuff like that. Did you not eat cheeseburgers today? No, I didn't. But... <laughs> It so, was telling me. Something. So in that dream, I looked it up. I, but what are you looking up? So I went to a dream dictionary and I looked up the word uh, rip and I looked up the word shirt. Okay. Right? And then when you get the definition of both, you put them together, mm -hmm. it gives you what the dream was supposed to mean. Now, in your dream, you'd be like, oh, I was walking around, I was fat and I ripped the shirt, I need to lose weight. It had nothing to do with that. Oh. Right? The rip, uh, the shirt had to do with a certain part of my life and the rip had to show that if something rips, it yeah. means that it's... You have a false reality of how strong that is. Is, is this a recur reoccurring? Dream? No, that's no. something you just only had. Now, if you have a recurring dream, because I have recurring, yeah, you do. Yes. Okay, so if you have a recurring dream and you're constantly remember it, yes, right. This is something that you definitely 100 percent need to look into, study yeah. it, find out what it is, and then fix. Yeah. Because until you address it, you're going to keep having this dream. Yeah. Right. So uh, the dreams, if you understand the way dreams work, right, we have three levels of consciousness. You have your conscious, subconscious, and then there's your inner conscious. Okay. Your inner conscious is like the purest version of you. There, it's it's like you to the rawest core. Gotcha. And then you have your subconscious, which is like this like evil scrub version that when when your sub your inner conscious is trying to send something to your conscious, it has to go through the subconscious. And that's why you have a dream where you're like, oh, I was on a beach and there were scorpions and there was a cloud with a pig playing a harp yeah. and there was a ladder and it sounds crazy. Yeah. But if you were to use a dream dictionary and break down what that is, all of a sudden you'll see what your inner conscious yeah. is trying to tell you about you. Your recurring dream is your inner conscious trying to tell you something that you need to pay attention I, I to. I do believe that there is some, definitely some truth to these dream books and everything. Because, you know, people who do studies and they say, you know, it's not that difficult to say. It's psychology, People dude. who dream yeah. this typically are this way or do this certain oh. thing. I used to, I don't I haven't had it in a, in a long time, but I used to have reoccurring dreams of me squeezing, clenching my mouth so tight that my teeth grind. Your teeth <laughs> grind or shattered? Yeah. Did they shatter? Yeah. Yes, I've had them shattered. I've had it where it was beyond beyond my control, or I would take my bottom teeth and pull the top ones back. I don't yeah. have those dreams anymore. I used to have them all the time, and it was a recurring. Yeah, that's tied to anxiety. Yeah, and it was something that it, yeah. it just it it, it yeah. I would have dreams like. But that are you dreaming? Are you doing it because you're dreaming about it, or are you dreaming about it because you're doing it? I don't do it normally. No, no. It's it's a lot of times it isn't tied to what you're doing. It's just things that you're feeling about, right? Like, and you have no control. Like, I had no control. How no control. hard? How if I could stop myself? I couldn't stop myself from doing it. I just kept doing it and doing it and clenching my teeth until my teeth cracked. Yeah. Teeth falling out usually indicates the dreamer is undergoing a period of self self doubt, frustration, or fear. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So self doubt. All right. So Joe yeah. looked it up, and uh, yeah. So uh, at that time, maybe that's what it was. Um, more recently, well, not more. I haven't had it in, in probably a few months, but I was well, having I really dreams um, about heights and and being unsteady and trying to get to the higher level and i couldn't get up there and things like that so um and just being you know and falling sometimes and and trying to get from one platform to the next platform yeah um, you got to pay attention to these dreams yeah. man they're telling you real truths about yeah. yourself yeah it's the best psychologist you'll ever have 
Yeah. If you listen That's to That's why I said there's some truth to it because I could see sometimes when I look it up, like Joey just looked up um, for us, um, you know, sometimes I will look it up and I'll, I just have curiosity and say, what does this mean? Yeah. What do they say it, me- it means? You know? Now, I think the whole dream thing, I definitely am, I can believe there's truth there. I'm not like. Like uh, looking at the stars and saying someone's going to read in someone's yeah, horoscope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in that. But I believe that with dreams, it, it, your, sub, your subconscious does say certain things and tell you certain things that you don't realize until, you know. Take, take this into account, right? Have you ever had a dream that was like sexual nature? Obviously, right? So a I lot of things in dreams. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, well, I, I definitely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? So like we have dreams where we'll see somebody in it. You might see like not in, a, to this episode. In, a, in a normal nature. Let's say you see like you see your best friend, right? Uh-huh. In the dream. The per- your your best friend that you're seeing a dream has nothing to do with the dream. Your brain, again, the subconscious is scrubbing the truth. So they're putting another person... So let me get this straight. Sexual nature. Was no, no. in your dream? No, no. So oh, in sexual okay. nature, if you, have, if you have a sexual nature dream about somebody, <laughs> right. it's actually about that person. Yeah. But if you have, like, let's say I'm, I'm there and I'm like, I was in my dream and I saw, like, my, you know, eighth grade teacher. Okay. The eighth grade teacher is being scrubbed to this block me from the real person that it's supposed to represent. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So your brain will scrub everything except if it's a sexual nature dream. That person is really what it's supposed to be. Gotcha. So like if you like again, you're like, oh dude, I had this weird dream it was like my neighbor. And yeah. you know, he was walking a dog and you're like, This is weird. Your neighbor might be a representation for me. Yeah. Someone that's close to your life or whatever, but your 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 subconscious is scrubbing it to show something different. And that's why you need a dream dictionary to really show you real meanings of what things are. Did you ever watch Inception? Oh my god, bro! It's like my movie. Yeah, yeah. Dream within a dream within a dream within a dream. Have you ever had one of those? Yes. Okay, tell me about it. Um, I don't. Re- I can't recall as much. Oh, I've had, dude. I've had it where I've woken up. I mean, I'm sure everyone's had it where you've woken up in the dream, but you're still dreaming. Thought you were and, in it. Yeah. And yes, and then you actually you're like, wait, I'm still dreaming. Or here, how about this? And I think this is a, a sign of uh, of uh, sleep sleep disorders. When okay. You, when you wake up and you can't you can't move your body. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the sleep paralysis. 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 That's scary, yes. man. Yeah, I've had that happen to me. You ever had? You ever had something like that? Only when I sleep on my back. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I think no one you two you guys did a lot of drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you know it is what it is. Really fucking high. Yeah, that was, that was the song right there. Bro. <laughs> now you know what's interesting is I I had I had one dream that was like the, like I, I can remember a small little like you know I woke yeah. up and I was still in something and woke up. I had one dream and I'll never forget. It was long before Inception yeah. existed, maybe like ten years before the movie came out. And I had this dream where, you know, you don't know you're in a dream. You know, you don't know when it starts. Like they said in the movie, you're just in it. You're going through it. Yeah. And I had a full-on life, dude. And I ended up getting married. I had kids. Yeah. Uh, we, we had grandchildren. Like, it went far. <laughs> and then I woke up. And did, I was did like, you watch Inception before? No, <laughs> this is 10 years. This is at least a decade before the movie came out. And then I remember waking up and... You know, I'm seeing, like, I was in the basement. You remember my old basement where I used to live in? There's that little window, and, like, there was another little window, and the the sunlight was coming in, and I'm like, oh, man, the goddamn sunlight. And I went to reach over for my wife. You know, she wasn't there. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, where the hell am I? I started panicking because I'm 11 years old. I don't have a wife. (laughs) Yeah. I might have been, like, I don't know, 16 or something or whatever. I don't know. But the thing is, I didn't know where I was, (laughs) and then all of a sudden, it clicked. I'm like, this was all a dream. Yeah. And I felt like Sato. Read, read Word Up magazine. magazine. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to be up in the limousine. There we go. Pictures on my wall. <laughs> Every day. Uh, I mean, yeah, Every day. Saturday, <laughs> yeah, Saturday. I, 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 I'm the magic wall. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> I'm probably the odd man out, but I don't believe any of that. I, I don't know. Yeah. But you're out here. You were out here chasing I mean, ghosts. Yes. Yeah, meanwhile, ghost hunter John. <laughs> yeah, ghost hunter John. I believe. Dreams. But I'm awake when I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. See, it, the conversation sparked because I had a dream that I was leaving our podcast. Yeah. This is before we recorded. Yeah. yeah I had a dream yeah. that I was leaving the podcast. Uh, Kenny was driving me home, and we got pulled over, <laughs> and he got a DUI, <laughs> and I was just as under the influence, and I Kenny got arrested, and uh, I talked the cop into not believing I. Was drunk. Yeah. So he gave me Kenny's car. He's got a fancy car in the in the garage, and I was like, I, I can't, I can't drive this home. I'm not a driver. I don't know how to drive stick. I can't do it. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then I woke up and I was like, what? And in my head, I was like, All right, I'm I'm recording a podcast today. Am I getting pulled over today? Is this, is that like a? Well, why it's got to be you? It was him that was exactly. Yeah. But he doesn't drive home. So maybe come to him. He maybe you think of him is gonna be me. Shit. No, maybe street. it's a sub- yeah, subconscious thing. Or I'm gonna hang out for a little bit and so we're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or is it everybody saying, "Hey, when you record your podcast, be careful driving home." Yes. You know what I mean? Hey, that's yes. a good message right there. But I don't see no. 
nothing's coming of it. It was just yeah. a dream because I was thinking about it before I went to bed and that was it. Like, yeah. to me, here's I'm like, not going to go into the dictionary here's and be like, hey, Kenny DWI, what am I looking at here? One of the things I can tell you is this, right? Your perception is your reality, right? Because you can sit here and say, hey, I was going out hunting on ghosts and stuff like that and you believe it 100%, right? And there's a lot of people that might say like, yeah, this guy's crazy. But that's your perception, right? And just like Kenny and I could look at dreams and say, hey, like this is our reality. It's our reality. It's almost like Confucius, right? He who says he can, he who says he can is correct, right? So Dream I think you're right. You know, you could say it's crap and then it's yeah. because that's your reality. You're living that experience. Ken and I are going to sit here and grind teeth and shatter them. And <laughs> yeah, it's kind of demented. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, but, you know, again, your reality is yours. We just sit here and share this one. Yeah. yeah. You know? Dreaming about getting a DUI signals your femininity or issues with your feminine side. <laughs> So Joey said what? that you yeah. dream about a DUI, no, you have issues with your feminine side. You sure you look up IUD? <laughs> right, didn't we just say before the feminine yeah. side? We were like, yeah, oh. the feminine side, we brought it up before. Yeah, yeah the maybe, seltzers. Maybe right. there's something you got to look into, guy. What would that have to do with anything? You need to I don't create know. your own well, success. Well, it's just about, next you know, I need to get a what? Create your own success. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Think about it, Jonathan. <laughs> I had a dream last night that I was drinking a glass of bourbon. Can somebody make that come true? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's so, go. Yeah, we're going to get into that bourbon. But I gave John a homework assignment recently. Uh-oh. It was, and I love this. Like It's like a documentary whatever. It's on Hulu. It's called Neat. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. And, like, I he, remember you talking about that. Yes. I gave John a homework assignment. And I actually just recently gave it to Ruben. I you said, gave you gotta it to watch me. it, man. Yeah. It's such a wholesome, great, great. If you want to know a little bit more about bourbon and you're curious about um, bottled and bond or things like that or, or just where it comes from, how, what it takes to make it, what's involved in it, um, it it's such an informative uh, movie. In uh, Anybody watching, even if you don't like bourbon. Yes, exactly. You need to watch this documentary. It was, That's what it is. It's a documentary. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, I can say this. Steve Zahn's in it. I didn't Steve Zahn's in it. Yeah. freaking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I didn't watch the movie, but I did come and learn about bourbon at the Speakeasy. Yes. Because Ken, the first time I came here, was like, you got to try all these bourbons. Yeah. Dude, that was a long night, bro. Yeah. Like, we drank a lot. It was good. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah, we had, we had a good fun. time. Yeah. But Neat, this movie Neat, I'm going to definitely check it definitely out. Definitely check it you out. You said it's on Hulu. Hulu. Okay. And, and I will, I've I will watched give, it like four or five times already. I'll give credit to you because mm. a lot of the stuff they talk about and say, it's stuff that I've learned from here from him. Already. Yeah. Yeah. Which I probably learned from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, so, real talk, I got it from the movie. Yeah, I got it from, I, well, education's education, whatever yeah, way you yeah. take it. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is a little bit of a tearjerker as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I'm getting nervous, but I'm not trying to watch it, a movie. I'm going to cry about no, it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but it's so funny because just the ending, just the way the guy, what he says at the end. Yeah. He said when you watch it, I said I'm craving an old fashioned. He goes, watch me. He goes, you're going to be craving a lot more. Yeah. Like, Listen, I feel cheated, bro. Because last week I said I'll come back if we do old fashions. We didn't do an old fashioned. Oh, that's right. So yeah. totally forgot about that. I'm going to you know, say no, no. Kudos to John, though, because. This is beautiful. I, 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 I really that. enjoyed Did you this. Enjoy that? Oh, I good. thoroughly good. enjoyed this. I honestly good. forgot about that. I was gonna do them too. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So cool. the next time I come, guys. Next time you come, old fashioned yeah. night. Well, I think we make old fashioned. And we just sit here and shoot the shit. Like there, this. There's different times. There's yeah. like there's different times you and eras of old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back, back for that because I, I I loved having you here. This is you're good. Yeah, we'll here, definitely yeah. do it. I'm down. Yeah, we had a good time and. and um, and Joey, who's in our audience, we want to have Joey as a guest one of these days yeah. as well. we'll Joe, Joe's like the Jamie to the podcast. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's looking up stuff. He's looking up stuff, giving us information. Yeah, I got this guy a laptop. Got that that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, we were we were, we were talking right. about squeezing the four of us back here. Yeah. We say, you know what? Joey's good in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Joey, why don't you come say hi to the camera real quick? Just, just, just jump in front. Give a quick hello. Give me a quick wave. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, hi, everybody. Hey, hey Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you got for us today, Ken? All right, today we have. So this is now we're getting back to this neat now. Yeah. Now, I didn't even realize this. They open the. Uh, yeah, they talk about where. Bourbon, how it was created, and it was an interesting story. And um, I don't, he, it was almost like he was joking on it. I don't know if it was true or not true. Now I kind of question it. He's like, did it come from this? Did it come from that? Yes. So the first thing he mentioned was Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig, apparently, from what he said, whoopsie, what he said in uh, Neat was that Elijah Craig um, had. I guess there was a bunch of uh, barrels that had they carried pickles and pickles, fish and, and things like that. 
So to get rid of the pickle taste and pickle taste uh, in the fish taste, he uh, they would char the barrels. And um, as you guys know, with bourbon, that's how you have bourbon. It's charred. The yeah, charred, charred barrels. Yeah, yeah, charred barrels and everything. Yeah. And um, and then they, he, he charred the barrel first and stored the whiskey in there. And well, it, you know, from there, uh, you know, bourbon just kind of just uh, arose. Yeah. So um, what was it saying? Uh, like all bourbons are whiskeys, but not all whiskeys are bourbons? Yes. yes. Right? That's the thing? Yes. I, I think you told me that one. Yeah. yeah. And it's so funny because before they put the bourbon in the barrels, bourbon looks like this. It's clear. Yes. It's clear. It's oh, the, no uh, shit. Yeah, the uh, what's really? it, white dog or whatever. White dog, yeah. yeah. And they said Bach is clear. Like, they wanted to do something special. This is all from the barrel. Really? It's from that charred inside barrel. Okay. That's so the barrel, like the oak, that char, everything. That's everything that contributes to the flavor. Yes. Yeah. So that's why you taking these bourbons, you putting them in a barrel. Say you do it for five years, it's going to taste one way. Yeah. You do it for ten years, it's because it's soaking in all that flavor. So you will see a barrel sometimes, and you can cut a barrel open, and you look at that wood, and you can see how far that stain went. Really in. goes into the wood. So yeah. you're seeing that that. Liquid yes. is going in and yes. out and in and out of that, and it's wait. Are we still talking about bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> Ruben just got a little bit more excited about Ken's this. getting back, back in his dreams, dream. <laughs> nocturnal dreams. Yes. Yeah, when they took that barrel apart and they showed that wood, and you could see the waterline of where. And this was in this was in the movie yeah. Neat. They did yes. that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is a um, an Elijah yeah. Craig. This is actually she stopped spinning it on the bar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hold on a second. There we go. So somebody just crashed watching this. <laughs> this is the toasted barrel. So this is just a variation. No, it's got a beautiful color too. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> After watching that, I am excited. Too. Yeah, yeah. Because you you were saying that. And this like, is another new one. This is like, episode of Can't have me watch this, and now I want a bourbon. This yeah. is like an everyday one for me too. This toasted barrel. So that's why I. Uh, we have to crack a new one because you. It just, I think it was just the time, best. The best is Ken has said from last week. He said this week he's like, Sorry, buddy. he's like, oh, you know what it is? I finished this, you know, and I got to crack a new one. I'm like, is this like a daily thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ruben the Cuban. Thank you. All right, and uh, oh, sure. I lost my train of thought. Sure. There's something I wanted to say about that 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 movie. Um, we don't want to give away too much, though, John. No, no, no. We want no, people no. to watch it till that end. No, I'm excited. Dude. I'm going to watch yeah, it. I'm yeah, definitely yeah, going to watch absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, and it gave, like, the A... It was A, B, C, D, E, F. Like, you know, the, mm. it, the ABCs of distilling. Yeah. Okay. And it was so cool, man. Like, yeah. it's... Oh, and it, oh it's, cra it's, crazy. it's crazy with warehouse position, wherever those yes. barrels are being stored. Yes. They say that some people will... You know, like, Four Roses is known for this. So when you buy their special recipes or barrel strength ones... Um, people actually look at those letters. Each letter will tell you it, it. There might be an S on there, or an N, or an E, or a W. What are we getting at here? Right. South, east, west, north, north depending on where they are in the warehouse. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And some people are like, oh, there's a window on that side, or yeah. this, or there's this on that side. Might change, it, might change the temperature a little yeah, bit over there. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the height it's, of where you're at in yeah. the room can the change the heat of the barrel. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. And, yeah. and then something that hit me was what they said about the, the master distiller. Like sometimes they'll make a batch that. Has to sit for thirty years. They'll never get to try the finished product. Yeah. Oh, because they they're, they're gone They'll before they're long gone. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, but that's when you're buying like those fifty year bought like you know barrels. You know you well, might make it never thing. get to and taste it. That goes back to what they say. People are like, oh, I don't want to spend uh, three hundred dollars on a on an eighteen year rig. Like, Listen, man, you got to pay for that time. You're not buying a ten yeah. year. You're not buying a five year bourbon. You're buying something that's right. been kept. And sitting there right. for eighteen years. Yeah. If you have an old man, like an old master distiller that that made that, he's gone. He didn't even get to taste it. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, it's your honor to taste that yeah. in his name. That's a good point, man. I never thought of it that yeah. way. That's really a great outlook. All right, let's drink uh, to the master distillers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. And Ruben, welcome back. Nobody again, passed this week, so we're, we're yeah. <laughs> Support. I like that. Yeah, they do. That like sits, like versus yeah, like what we had last week. Yeah, versus what we had last week. Yeah, I like this one. This is here. this. Oh, I'm yeah. feeling this better than last week's. Yeah, yeah. this is more my 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 style. You can see the legs on that bad boy too. Yeah, they're sexy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I like my women. <laughs> <laughs> Long brown legs. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's... Uh, Bro, I can understand why you drink a bottle of this tonight. Makes sense. I have a bottle of this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bottle of this. 
<laughs> He's like, I gotta crack a fresh one, guys, you know, because I'm always finishing this. <laughs> the podcast's not gonna last long. Yeah, no, it's about a bottle every three months or something, maybe. But it just you just caught me at that timing where I've had two that were ready to Listen, bro, last last week was I finished this one, that was the three, you know. Yeah, sure, sure. Ken's a master drinker, he finishes the things every three months, you know, in a day. So. <laughs> Well, I've guests here too, so we need yeah. to have it as well. No, I, I'm going to say thank you for having me here today. Yeah. You know, last week as well, but like even before when I came to your place, and you 100%, I was saying to you earlier, you need to really put out a little quick video so people can see how beautiful your bar is. What you yeah, did here is, is gorgeous. Here. Thank you, man. Right? Thanks. But also, like, thank you. You, you've taught me a lot about bourbons and stuff like that. Like, you know, I like to drink, I, I enjoy my whiskeys, my bourbon, stuff like yeah. that, but I never really understood them. Yeah. So it's great that like I can come here and get a little yeah. little feedback, a little yeah. something, understand what I'm doing. And it's never and just so everyone knows too, you know, we do not drink to get drunk. Actually we prefer if we don't get drunk. No, yeah, I don't want to be we yeah. actually really, too old to be drunk. Yeah, we actually drunk. really enjoy the liquor. We like what it tastes yeah. like and that's that's what it's about for us. I mean the buzz that comes with it is cool if you're having a conversation you no, loosen, you loosen up, loosen up, a up bit, yeah. But that's all I want. I don't want that, you know, because with drunk comes a hangover and all that fun stuff. So we don't really want that. And, you know, no, you want to enjoy the beverage yeah. and take the time and really yeah. be in it and yeah. then have the good company. I think that's yeah. what it's all well, about, right? I think we're gonna cheers to that good company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, cheers uh, to good company. Cheers, good. cheers and Joey thanks for coming again being a part of the audience Cheers, Thanks and, for having uh, me. we'll get you out here one of these days and uh yeah and um next time we get you out we'll do uh we'll make it a grubs episode yeah yeah some mana goat did you say mana goat listen up and shout outs. outs today shout outs today are hudson valley brewery <laughs> tin barn brewing <laughs> elijah craig himself and uh, great friends. Yo, shout yeah. out to the Freemasons too, bro. I love you guys. Holy shout out to the Freemasons. And cheers to the Freemasons. Should we talk about that again? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Do we have another three hours? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> John and I had a long right. conversation last time. I'm sure we're going to have another one. Yeah. Yes. We'll have it. Ruben, come back too as well. You know, we're, yeah. we're always... Uh, yeah. yeah, next time I'll, I'll listen. The next time I come along, we'll do. Let's do. Let's do. If you can, I would really appreciate we do an old fashioned round, and I'll I'll do a little segment about Freemasons. So I'll give yeah. a little bit more knowledge. Yeah, sounds good. All right, and, uh, all right, guys. Cheers again, guys. Happy Salud. Easter. Happy Easter. Salud. 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 And Joey Bats. Cheers, Easter. To you guys. Salud. All right. Later.